Hello guys and welcome to Dadcast with the man them. What's going on today, Kenny? We are here at Phoenix Road Adventure Playground for Simply for the Dads. Do you know what? it's it's really good to be at like our first little event and like the first of many the building up, obviously Father's Day and that, Father's being a uh, our our key demographic, mm -hmm. I think. I mean yeah. there's a lot of mums involved, which has been really nice. Um what are you looking forward to today? Um I'm looking forward to seeing the you know the smile on the kids' faces when they you know come in here and see how amazing uh, this venue is um and engaging with their you know with their fathers, engaging with us. I'm looking forward to interviewing these kids and and their fathers. The thing that's quite fun is that as soon as we got here we thought oh how are we gonna do it with the kids and stuff and like the kids are just they're just gone. They're just out and about us. like yeah it's quite us. quite fun kind of <laughs> kind of fun what's going on. Um go on then Oh right, yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> Two, yeah, yeah. So that's Pat Hart trying to throw us off, but outtakes, we got this. Outtakes, professionals, yeah. professionals. Outtakes. But yeah, so yeah, we're gonna kind of go around the event and interview a few people. So yeah, see you in a sec. Pat's such a nightmare. Yeah. All right, so what's your name? Um, Dempsey. Dempsey, um, if your dad had a million pounds, what would he spend it on? Um, um a new mower. A mower? <laughs> That's an interesting answer. Okay, so if your dad had a superpower, what would it be? Um, to fly. To fly? To fly, I like that. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna ask you now, Dad. What's your name? I'm Derek. Derek. Okay, nice to meet you, Derek. So, Derek, if your dad had a million pounds, what would he spend it on? Uh, about us, like the family, the whole family, yeah. And what about your son? If he had a million pounds, what would he spend it on? Super Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for answering the questions. Okay, hi, uh, what's your name? Uh, my name's Andrew. Andrew, and what's your son's name? This is Ezra. Ezra. Hi Ezra, you all right? Yeah, say hi. <laughs> okay, so what does being a dad mean to you? What does it mean to me? Uh, it means everything at the moment. Um, maybe that'll change. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's like the biggest and best responsibility you could ever want. Um, it's added like a sense of place and organization to my life. Ezra, be careful with that. <laughs> uh, it's made me grow an extra pair of eyes in the back yep. of my head, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it means so much because you like you take on this new form of yourself that maybe you never thought was possible. And, uh, and it's just it's a great feeling. It's, a, it's something that you look forward to doing every single day. Yeah. Nice one. Thanks for answering the questions, Andrew. And who do I have here? My name's Sam. Sam. Reuben. Well, Gabriel. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> okay, so what does being a dad mean to you? I've been tired a lot. <laughs> um, honestly, I wouldn't know what to do myself anymore without children. I guess it is. I, sometimes you think you kind of have daydreams about all the freedom you'd have without children, all the things you didn't used to have, but actually. I don't know what I'd do with myself without them. And I, yeah, you kind of spend, you know, when they're here and they're being annoying, you sometimes wish they weren't. But actually, when you spend time away from them, it's like only just a day or two, you really miss them. They're really good fun. When they're not whinging like this. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know, it's a difficult question, I suppose. Okay. But being tired is probably the main one. That's my main, my main <laughs> These guys, they're like spaniels, you've got to get them out of the house by 10 or they smash it up. <laughs> Ruben, I'm going to ask you a question now. Okay, Ruben, if Daddy had a million pounds, what would he spend it on? Um. I don't know. What do I really want? What do we keep talking about getting? Sorry? I've got my pitch cool. Switch. A, a, is it a switch. A switch. A switch. Uh, a no, switch. That's what we want to say, a yeah. switch. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, Gabriel, if Daddy had, if Daddy had a superpower, what would it be? Oh. Aww. He's like no. No, 
Oh, okay. Power will be repelling, repelling children. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks for that, yeah. uh, So, who have we got here? India. India. Hello, India. And? Uh, Patrick. See, this, this guy here, top bloke. So, question for you, India. If Daddy had all the money in the world, what would he buy? Um, he would buy loads of furniture. <laughs> he would buy loads and loads and loads of things for him. For him? Okay, yeah, yeah. And only a few toys for me. And only a few toys for you? Oh, Daddy. Okay, so another question then. What is Daddy's superpower? Um... Helping me when I'm crying. Oh, he helps you when you're crying. That's a good superpower. See, I thought it was going to be something about Daddy talking lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. And lots. Does, does Daddy talk a lot? Yeah. <laughs> okay then. So, so Daddy, question for you then. Same question. If if your Daddy would have had a million pounds, what would he have spent it on? Oh, uh, he would he wouldn't have been as selfish as me. He would have spent it on us. To be fair, he'd have spent it on all the kids and he'd have probably give half of it to the homeless. He's a nightmare. He's giving money away all the time. But that's good. He's, a, he's, he's charitable, which makes him a nightmare. Okay. <laughs> and if your dad had a superpower, what would it be? Oh, gosh. Um, I think it was being like looking after people. I think that would be like the superpower, looking after other people. Yeah. Okay. And a last question then. What is your favorite thing about your daddy? Um, uh, when <coughs> when um, I asked him something, yeah. Um, I always get away with it and he does it for me. Okay, I think I'd like that as well, I think I'd like that as well. Well, thank you very much you guys, hope you're having a good time. And I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, so we're here at Simply For The Dads at a Felix Road Adventure Playground and I am joined by... Shavaya. Maisie. Joe. Malachi. Some of you might recognize this man as he was nominated as the perfect dad. You don't know this yet, but we've just been doing a few different people asking what makes a good dad, okay? Okay. Now we asked two, two girls, right? And they said that Joe <laughs> is a good dad. Um, so yeah, so I asked a few questions, so I think I'll kind of go, go around. So first question. If Joe had all the money in the world, what would he spend it on? A house. A house, okay. Anything else? Don't know. Uh, probably a house and like game consoles and comics. Okay. What about you then, Mary? What would Joe buy if he had all the money in the world? A uh, house and game consoles. Copy that. <laughs> the thing is, I can I can see him having a, like a like a wall and like you press a button and it opens just a library full of comics. Yeah. So I can see. I'm doing something like that. Yeah. Um, okay, so then another question going around. What is Joe's superpower? He doesn't have one. Okay, if he did have one, what would it be? To see what you're doing at all times. Okay, see what you're doing at all times? Uh, probably to like stop time, but you could choose people to like, uh, like carry on doing what you're doing. So like right now he would like freeze the whole adventure playground and then like choose like us to like carry on doing whatever we were doing but time be frozen okay okay no i like that and mally so if you had a superpower what would joe's superpower be daddy daycare <laughs> daddy daycare okay um so joe if you think about yourself what would you want to be your superpower for your kids that could help your kids superpower for my kids um i guess really it would be to be able to protect them at all times but that's unrealistic and probably wouldn't do them much good but as a dad just to be able to be there and protect them at any time of need. I love that I say superpower and you say realistic. <laughs> okay, so quick question then. What is your favorite thing about Joe? I don't have one. You don't have a favorite thing, he's just great all over? No. No, he's not great all over. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> okay. Um, he's really funny and he always like listens to you and understands, uh, no matter what. Okay. What's your favourite thing about Joe? His hair. <laughs> His hair, okay. And Joe, what's your favourite thing about being a dad? Nothing compared to, apparently. Um, no, my favourite thing about being a dad is um, just the love that you've got around you all the time. Do you know what I mean? Like the snuggles at night and reading to them, homework, just being around them, you know? That's my favourite thing. Have a nice. 
Okay, so thank you guys. Hope you have enjoyed the event and enjoy the rest of your time here. Today, you. I'm joined by... Darren. And... Jade. Now, on some of the shows, you might have heard me talk about my, um, my sister and some of the tales of her as a young child and the stress she caused uh, her father and such and such. This is the one, okay? So, a couple of questions, Em. <laughs> if your dad had all the money in the world, what would he buy? A stormtrooper outfit. Just a, not a not a set of stormtroopers. No, just, just one. Probably just one. Okay, okay, fair enough. And if he had a superpower, what would it be? I actually don't know. What superpower would you like him to have? I'd like him to have the ability to fly. Okay. Fly and fly and super strength, because then he can carry me while he's flying. So you want him to be Superman? Nah, he doesn't need like the blasty vision stuff. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. So, questions for you then, Dad, right? If your dad had all the money in the world, what would he buy? If my dad had all the money in the world... I know this one. I'm glad you do, so I don't. He would buy that place in... Oh, oh yeah, he'd buy, he'd, 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 buy a, he'd buy a flat in Fangarola, an apartment in Fangarola. Okay. Yeah. And if your dad had a superpower, what would it be? Uh, not to fall over when he's drunk. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so what is your favourite thing about being a dad? Uh, my favourite thing about being a dad is when I get phoned up and asked to drive my daughter wherever she wants to go. <laughs> That's your favourite thing? No, not like really, that. but I, I like thought that. I'd be sarcastic. Okay, and last question then. What is your favourite thing about your dad? As annoying as he can be, he really is a like, massive softy. So he just, he'll do anything to help anyone, and including give them lifts everywhere. But it's good to know he likes that, because I'm going to use that from now on. I have video evidence. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys, hope you enjoyed the rest of the event, and yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. See you later. Oh, do you know what, it's just been a really, really nice afternoon, I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, it's been very, su the sun's been out, you know, kids, see kids laughing and stuff, and having a good time, laughing at us. Um. <laughs> Do you know, it's one of those things where there's quite a few dads here though who they obviously spend time with their kids and it's great having a good time but you can tell there were certain dads that didn't want to have any sort of major accident on their watch Me being one of them Do you know, I just thought to myself, I know it's fine for the kids to take a bump but if I get a broken limb and, and Nicola's not around, it's only it on me your watch. You don't want it on your watch right, Exactly no, no, no. Um, So yes, yeah, so I guess it's just like, well, a few thank yous up our street for putting this on It's on media, kind of everybody Yeah, BCFM um, Yeah, just thanks for supporting us and you know um, Yeah, just there's going to be more to come from us obviously and this is just one of the first events that we're helping to put on yeah so yeah so have fun with it everybody we've got a few things coming up in july mm -hmm. so we've got bbc radio on yeah, yeah bbc radio bristol will be on there on the 7th of july i um, mean the morning between 9 and 10 yep and then we've also got our next edition that's coming up we hope hopefully be joined by the guys from ross barnett show so it'd be good to get them on and discuss sort of their experiences being dads so i guess there's nothing else to say but fatherhood doesn't come with a manual <laughs>